Welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating this very basic animated GIF in Photoshop using assets that we'll bring in from Illustrator. So we're going to begin by going into Illustrator and grabbing those assets and then setting up our Photoshop file afterwards. So let's go into Illustrator and you'll see I've already got my, my versions set up, my assets here, but I'll show you how I created um, the settings for this file. So I go File New and I'm using uh, the size 580 pixels by 290 pixels. Uh, you can use whatever size you want. The only reason I'm using this size is because it's the featured image size on my blog. I'm going to make sure I'm using um, pixels as my units since this is going to be online. So it's for screen resolution. Um, so we're going to use pixels. Our color mode, which you can get to by toggling down this advanced tab. I'm going to make sure that's set at RGB because we are working on the screen and my resolution is going to be the standard 72 ppi um, or screen resolution. So I'm going to hit OK and you'll notice I've got the same type of artboard going on. And once I did this, I just kind of played around with what I wanted my animated GIF to look like. And I decided I'm going to have basically three elements. I've got my happy birthday type, I've got my party hat, and I've got my confetti. And the only thing that's changing in this at all is my confetti. So everything else stays the same. You'll notice I've got my hat and my happy birthday, but I've got three different versions of my confetti for the three different slides that it's going to cycle through. So when we're setting up ours, we just need to make sure that we're having the amount of different confetti that we're going to be using, but we really only need one of the things that never change. So we're going to set up our Photoshop file by going File, New, and we're going to set this up the same, 580 pixels by 290 pixels, 72 resolution, RGB, we're going to hit OK. Okay, so uh, you'll notice I've got this timeline window opened up down here, and you get to that by going Window, Timeline. And if you toggle this little button, just make sure it says New Layers Visible in All Frames. Okay, so I'm going to double click on this background layer. I'm going to label it Background, and I'm going to set the color for it, which is going to be this pink, which you can copy. It's 247, 164, 130 for the RGB color value. And I'm going to make sure that it's sitting behind here. If I, if I click on this arrow, I can switch back and forth. Um, so you just want to make sure that it's sitting behind your four color. Um, so the keyboard shortcut on a Mac is Command Delete. And if you're on a PC, you can hit Control Backspace and it'll do the same thing. So now we've got our background color, which we know exists throughout every single cycle of this. So we only need it once. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back into Illustrator and we have to start grabbing some assets. So this is the first um, version of my confetti. So I'm going to hit Command C once I select it. Go back into Photoshop and hit Command V. And this, I'm going to paste it as a smart object and then hit Enter to place it. And I'm going to label it over here, Confetti 1. Okay. So now I'm going to go grab my party hat, which I've got that layer locked right now, so I'm going to unlock it, grab my party hat, Command C, Command V, and I'm just going to position it kind of like I had in my Illustrator file, and that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to label this layer party hat, and now I'm going to write out happy birthday, which is going to go underneath the party hat, so I'm going to click on the confetti layer hit T on my keyboard to bring up my text tool and then I'm just going to click once and I'm going to type out happy birthday. I am using the font branded printed. Uh, I got this off of my fonts. If you're interested I'll leave a link below the video where you can pick it up. Uh, I'm going to size this at 60 points with letting which is the space between lines set at 55 points. So I'm going to hit my T key again I'm going to come in here and just hit enter so I've got it on two lines. And I'm going to make sure that it's center aligned, which if you go into your paragraph um, tab or window, just make sure the center alignment icon is clicked. And if you don't have your character or paragraph um, window open, you can get to paragraph right here. You can get to character right here. So piece of cake. All right. So I'm going to drag my happy birthday kind of where I want it on here. 
which that looks pretty good. So it's still hanging out behind the hat. Okay, so I, I also want to add a little bit of a drop shadow to the hat so it makes it feel like happy birthday is definitely underneath it. So I'm going to double click to bring up my layer styles and then I'm going to click on drop shadow and I'm just going to kind of play around a little bit. I, I don't want it to be too dark and I also want it to be in the same kind of family as this background color so I'm going to eyedropper the background color and then I'm just going to bring it a little little darker so it's more of a brown but I'm gonna set this to normal so it matches it a little better and then I'm gonna reduce my distance I think all the way to zero no I want let's see what that looks like five looks good and then I'm gonna bring my size way down and it's actually like I would like it to um, the shadow to be going a little further that way so I'm gonna turn off my global light and I'm just gonna grab this angle and I kind of want shooting that way. I like that better. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a little more blur and maybe reduce my distance a little bit. Um, just kind of play around with things until you're happy. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK. Alright, so now we have to bring in our other versions of confetti. So I've got confetti 1, so I'm just going to click on that layer so all of my other layers will um, be created above it. So I'm go back into Illustrator. I'm going to grab my second confetti, which I haven't grouped these yet. So I'm just going to grab them all, Command G to group them, and then Command C to copy. Back into Photoshop, Command V to paste. And I'm just going to move them a little bit. And really, when I was creating these in Illustrator, I literally, um, all I did was move them around. I grab the same exact artboard, which I'll show you how I copied an artboard. I go to, um, your layers have to be unlocked so everything carries over. So I go to document setup and then I go to edit artboards and I'm just gonna select the artboard I want to copy and then I'm gonna hold alt and then just drag. And if you hold shift it'll make sure it, it stays straight right aligned with the one before it. So that's how you make a copy of an artboard. And then I just, you can just grab your regular arrow key and then you're done. It's that easy. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my third confetti, which is also not grouped. So I'm gonna lock these layers again. Rubber band select, Command G to group, Command C to copy, and then Command V to paste in Photoshop. All right, so that's a lot of confetti. Let me label these confetti two, confetti three. All right, so whenever you're making an animated GIF in Photoshop, each frame um, down here or slide, however you like to refer to it, um, basically takes a snapshot of whatever layers are turned on in your layers palette. So this would be the first frame right here. If I wanted this turned on instead, then that's what it would be a snapshot of. So every time, the frame will be the same with whatever is turned on over here. Hopefully this makes sense when I show you how to do it. Okay, so this is my first frame, and we're good with that. And I'm actually going to set this to 0.5 seconds. And then I'm going to hit this little icon right here to create a new frame. But now I want to turn off my first confetti and turn on my second confetti. I'm going to do the same thing again new frame, turn off my second confetti, turn on my third confetti. And now um, if you have forever selected and you hit the little play button, it's exactly how we want it. All right, so that's fun. Um, so now we need to save it for the web. So I'm going to go file, save for web. When your dialog box comes up, make sure you have GIF selected up here. And you'll, if you want to preview it because it recognizes that it's an animation, um, you can hit the play button and just to show you that it, it knows that it's going to be animated. So I'm going to hit save and I'm going to call this party animation. Click save. And now uh, what you can do with it with 
which is what I did with it, is I just brought it into Photo Bucket and you can save it with everybody then. So here's, uh, it is on Photo Bucket playing and then I can link it to people, I can embed it on a site, I can do whatever I want with it. Um, so it's that easy.